government earmarked $7 billion to help Florida school districts, and $2.3 remains to help battle COVID-19 and the additional expenses required to keep students and staff safe. And yet here we are with Florida not actively applying for $2.3 billion that could be used to really enhance the educational experience and safety of everyone involved. The U.S. Department of Education sent this letter to Florida Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran, pointing out Florida stands alone, the only education system that hasn't met deadlines on how it plans to spend money already received in order to release the $2.3 billion still allocated. The letter says the delay from the state causes significant concerns because of the unnecessary uncertainty it's creating for local school districts and that it's hindering their ability to confidently plan for how to use these funds to address the needs of students. Right now, the Department of Education is saying that school districts have not communicated to us that they need any funds when a lot of school districts are saying, well, either we haven't been asked or we have been providing you with details. Representative Escamani's advice to school districts, get detailed plans to the state as soon as possible about exactly what is needed and how cash is going to be spent. Communicate that to the state of Florida so that we can be advocates in pushing Florida to fill in this paperwork and get this money in. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. We reached out to both the governor's office and the Florida Department of Education. The governor's office said it forwarded our request to the Education Department and we have not heard from them.